Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome back to the forest. So guys, we have an update, we're now in version 0.69, and as always, I'll be going through some of the main changes in the update, but if you want to see a full list of the patch notes, there will be a link in the description if you want to check them out. So guys, we've got an awesome update on our hands, something we've been asking for for a long time. We have a modern bow. So it says, the modern bow, it's hidden pretty deep in one of the cave systems. This bow will shoot longer and further than the crafted bow, and with more damage. So there wasn't kidding. The uh, modern bow is right at the end of the chasm cave, which is cave 7, and also at the end of the sinkhole cave, which is cave 8. It's where they meet. That is where the modern bow is, guys. So you can either go this way into the chasm cave, go all the way down, but there is a massive shortcut if you can jump straight down into the sinkhole and enter cave 8 from the bottom. So you are going to need some tools to do this, guys. You're going to need the rebreather and the climbing axe, which if you click in the top right, we'll take you the videos to get the climbing axe and the rebreather first. So right, let's look at some shortcuts, how we can get down to the bottom of the sinkhole. So you can either build a zipline going across and drop down into the water, like we did in the Patreon server. I don't think you can build this platform out into the middle of nowhere anymore. But when the turtle sleds first came out, I actually used it to get into the sinkhole and I took no damage. Now some of you mentioned that you actually died from this, so I'm going to try this again. Come on. 360 for good luck. And the softest of landings. <laughs> oh. Awesome. Of course, guys, you can also use the climbing axe to get down as well. But, man, is that much quicker. That is so much quicker. Then you've got the helicopter just around here. Make sure you do actually get the machete from the helicopter. Although, I think it needs a little buff, the machete. But going around, this is the entrance to cave 8, the sinkhole cave. Now, this opens straight away, even if you come straight from the plane. So it's very simple for me guys, all you do is just uh, keep on going forward. So I can't remember if this first door or this second door, but there is an Amzi on the other side of this. It must have been this door, but I've cleared this cave out. So once you've gone through the second door, you need to turn left, and then you just go down here, and you need to blow this up. Make sure you jump out and don't get trapped down there. There we go. So this isn't the part where you need the rebreather, guys. You just swim straight over this. Break this down. Just a word of warning, guys, when you progress. You want to go straight on, but there should be two Virginias here. But all you have to do is just keep going ahead. You don't even have to kill them. Keep going all the way here. It's actually lit up where you need to go. Here we go. So this is where you need the rebreather. You can actually see the little mini sub there. So you need the rebreather on, and then follow this all the way to the end. I actually tried to do this without the rebreather, in hopes that you didn't need it, but you do. It's way too far. So this is why you need the rebreather, but then you need the climbing axe to get back out of the sinkhole, or if you're gonna go through cave 7, the chasm cave, you do need it to get out of there as well. And then just around here, guys. The modern bow on some old boxes. Modern bow collected. Can be used to hunt animals or fight enemies. Well, let's get this off. There we go. It's had to see the red with the, the guts there. I really do like the design though. Very nice. Look at that. Finally. Oh, there's some bullets behind here as well. What are these just meds? So it says this bow will shoot longer and further than the crafted bow, and with more damage. But to keep the crafted bow useful, we've made it fire faster than the modern bow, but with shorter range and with less damage impact. So yeah, only last thing to do is test it out. So I'm just going to go exactly the same way I went back, guys. But you can go through Cave 7. I believe there is an Amzi and a few cannibals in there as well, but I'm just going to go exactly the way I came. And we're out. Oh. So I guess the worst thing about getting this modern bow is you have to climb your way out of the sinkhole. But I guess the perfect way to do this, guys, would be jump down in the turtle shell, pick up the machete, go in through the sinkhole cave, get the modern bow, and then come up through cave 7 and get the modern axe. So that's uh, three weapons all in one right there. So the best place to get out of the sinkhole is on the waterfall. 
And you're always going to find this, that as soon as you go up, you're going to get stuck. Just move to the left or to the right, and you will always be able to get up. I'm saying all this, but I haven't got out of the sinkhole like this in a long time. Alright, so I've hit some kind of barrier here. So, just go left or right. Oh man, this, this ridge is quite long. I'm just going sideways around the edge of the sinkhole. Oh, this looks promising. Oh, I'm out. Alright, that's more of a ball lake than I remember. Now, I don't know if going through the chasm cave is quicker because you actually still have to go through the sinkhole cave to get to the chasm cave, then you have to go all the way to the top of the chasm cave. So, man, if you guys ever do like a time trial, how to get from that point out, it'd be interesting to know both ways, whether coming up through the sinkhole or going through the chasm cave. It'd be interesting to know. So, right, where are these cannibals? I want to try my new toy out. Just test it on the crocodile. Headshot. Three hits? What? Three hits with this bow and the crocodile is down. I could have done with my bone arrows back though. <laughs> what? Oh, fresh meat. Whoa, that gets there fast. That gets there fast. Moving target. Love my arrow back. Two? Oh, I thought it might have gone down. No way. Try this guy. He's fast. That's, that's four in him now. Huh. Oh, later. Yeah, I was expecting the modern bow to bring them down quicker than five arrows. We'll bring them down a lot quicker with headshots, but still. Oh, he. One thing I love about this weapon so far is how quick the arrow gets there. Two. Three. Headshot, maybe? Oh, what the hell? So, oh, not four. Five. Five arrows. Not sure about this damage, guys. Not sure about the damage at all. Thought it'd be a bit better than that. Well, I guess we need something to compare it to. Let's use the old bow. Oh, this is skinny. Might be one shot. Oh. Right, let's see if we can dodge this. This shoots so fast, I'll be surprised if it can. Oh, what? What is wrong with the bow? Come on, Neo, I want to test you. Oh. Okay. He didn't dodge that. One shot to the noggin and he was down. Right, we need more old bow testing. Hey. Oh. That don't make sense. From everything so far, I think the modern bow needs its damage raised just a little bit. Just looking at the draw speed. The thing is, it's not that much slower. Not that much slower at all. I kind of like that in a way that the old bow is still pretty good. So you would switch between them, only use the modern bow for long range and the crafted bow for short range. Oh, perfect. So it says here that fire damage now has a new look. Let's try it, shall we? Hello. Come here. Um. Yoo-hoo! Behind you! What the- <laughs> Okay, I'll have the double. Oh, look at that! Oh, yeah, they got- the steaming! That is- oh, she dead. She down.
Oh, that is cool. Oh, yeah. Huh. That looked awesome. Okay. So, as I'm really hungry, my stats are low. I was going to make a bone bomb, but um, what I think we'll do is look at the new stews we can make. So, it says, it's now possible to cook a stew with a cooking pot after adding the pot filled with water on the fire. Okay, so let's start that. We get There we go. It says, uh, after adding a pot filled with water on a fire, add a choice of 20 ingredients, 8 meat, 6 mushrooms, 4 herbs, and 1 berry and oysters. It will start a 30 second cooking period when the stew will be ready to eat, providing hydration, fullness, and other benefits based on recipe. Can remain on a fire for up to 10 minutes. Note, you can also add ingredients without a pot of water. However, this will provide no hydration and will burn food extremely quick. Okay. So we've got our pot. Supposedly the pot's a lot bigger. Ah, so we can add a few... Oh, it's an oyster. Some meat. Oh. Oh, right. We're getting into the nasty stuff. So I guess we've got to make sure that we don't poison ourselves. When I know, like, the puff mushrooms are okay. Um, Jack... Oh man. So the Liberty Cap and the Puff Mushrooms. We'll put some of them in. There we go. Bit of that. Bit of that. Oh, we can put some other herbs. Wow, we can put so much in. Just some meat. So, if we put some blueberries, will that be the energy? Where's my blueberries? Do I have any? Come on, man. I'm hungry. There we go. Okay, so we've got a nice mix of blueberries, meat, and water. Oh, and mushrooms. My little pot of goodness. So this takes 30 seconds to make a stew. I don't think I have that long. Oh, I might just have to have, like, a blueberry just to keep me going. But the sun's up. It's done. Right, this should fill me up for everything now. Oh, wow. Full stats. Full stats. And I imagine because it's a stew, it'll keep me fuller for longer. At least I'm hoping. Let's make the cannibal stew. <laughs> the cannibal version. Arms, legs, the head. Oh, which are the bad mushrooms? I bet the cannibals like the bad mushrooms. Oh, my oysters are spoilt. That's just a pot of nastiness in there. Oh, it's ready to eat. It's gone all dark. Let's have a look at my stats. Oh, this is going to wreck me. 61% sanity. Oh, I'm going to eat it. Oh, there was no meat in there, man. That was all the wrong kind of meat. Oh, what? I'm sick. <laughs> Lowered my insanity. But it's not so bad. I thought I'd be near death. Well, I thought it'd be a lot worse than that. I've just thought of something cool. We've got the red modern mower. We've got the red paint. And we've got the fire arrow. We are ready for war. In fact, I don't think we're going to be using the fire arrows just yet because you can now poison weapons. It says you can now poison most weapons by combining them with poison berries or poison mushrooms. I point my fire arrow and she just sets on fire. <gasps> Whoa! I forgot about you, Crocs. Man, how do you always manage to creep up on me all the time? So right, uh, poison weapons. We can now add berries and mushrooms. Well, I guess it'd be the twin berries. And we'll use the rusty axe because supposedly the rusty axe now has a new design. Right, how do we add poison to this? So, it's mushrooms and twin berries. So like that. Uh, poisonous mushrooms. There we go. Is that... Oh, it's got the, uh, the green little poison icon there, but... Is that it? You can only add one. Twin berries. Poisoned. Oh, I thought it'd be green. Oh, man, I thought... Internet games need to get on that. Right. 
Will you go green? Oh, oh, sorry. Alright, I felt really bad then. He was kneeling. You? You're not going green. My poison axe isn't working, man. It did say most weapons, not all weapons. Uh, what should we try? A poison katana. Come on. It's gotta be. All twin berries. Don't look poisoned. Oh, it's green! Yeah! And it's gone off. One hit. One hit? What's the point? Might as well use the last twin berries to make some poison arrows instead. Why not? They seem a lot better. Oh, well, let's use the other one. Yeah, you're going to be much better using some normal poison. Might as well. How did you even go? Oh, you are. You've gone all Hulk mode. So yeah, the poison. Some weapons you can't even make poisoned, and when they do get poisoned, like the katana, you only get one use. I think it should probably go on a timer, rather than how many hits it takes. i got to get out of this village. This crocodiles, man. Go away. Absolute savage. I haven't seen what the bow looks like on the trophy stump, whatever you want to call this. Huh. What's it look like on the wall? Okay. Oh, it looks much better on the wall. I'm trying to think how they could improve the bow, maybe some kind of sight on it. But yeah, it's pretty good. So right, on to the next thing, which is another big change, guys. A lot of stuff in this update. Okay, so they've added a new difficulty. It's called Hard Survival. Uh, playing in this mode will cause less animals and fish to appear in the world, and with longer respawn after killing them. Greater and faster cold penalties, fire has been made more dangerous to the player, more food required per meal to fill stomach, thirst comes faster, slower respawn on gathered herbs, meat spoils faster, it's easier to get sick or infected, and there are greater penalties from sickness and infection. A rebalancing of poisonous food, drinking bad water and eating out of date food, Along with this, there is a much lower amount of spawned suitcases. Wow. Just wow. I'm not sure about the name. I mean, you've got normal and hard. I think the other one should just be called survival instead of hard survival. Let me know what you think, guys. But yeah, they're on the right track of making this game harder. If you are playing this, it'd be interesting to know how much tougher it actually is. But join my Discord community if you want, guys. Especially if you're interested in the forest. There's a link to it in the description. You've probably noticed in the last bunch of patches how they've been working on performance and now this is for large save games where they've optimised physics and rendering to get larger bases running faster. So I've just passed day 300 in mine and I've got to admit my game has been running so much faster since these last few patches. So nitrogen tanks now play an air hiss audio event when struck and about to explode. Oh yeah. That sounds great. What the <laughs> Man. Watch the last update video, guys, if you want to see how destructive we made these things against the end boss. They seem a lot more powerful. Maybe they've increased the blast radius. So this isn't working for me, but Arrow Baskets now stores the type of arrow that was added. So this isn't single player at the minute, but all these are fire arrows, and they look like normal ones. They'll probably get fixed soon. Taking items from the sled while already at max capacity for that item will now drop it to the ground. This is a nice little update because now you have more control of what you want in each sled. If you were full of sticks then you couldn't get any of these out. Turtle sled now plays a snow texture on top of turtle shell event when used on snow area. So this should sound like we're actually in the snow biome. I don't know. Kinda sounds the same to me, but I guess we'll have to try it on normal grass. The snow and the grass sound far too similar, I think. Let me know what you think, guys. Oh, I thought I was going to turtle Jesus it. 
thought I was going to keep on going. So the polished audio events for Molotov, Flare and Dynamite when holding and then throwing. Okay. That sounds good. So the dynamite sounds great when you're holding it, but I think when it blows up, let me know if you think it sounds echoey. Uh, it always seems like you're in a cave, a bit hollow to me. But the flare, this is a different ball game. This sounds amazing. So the flares also emit a burning SFX after being thrown. Hoping that this makes them a little bit more brighter, because it wasn't that great before, but yeah, they look great. Maybe some more smoke, I think? What do you guys think? Some red smoke a bit? I don't know. Are you using them to light up or to signal? It depends. They look great though, they sound amazing. So that's it guys, that is the major updates in version 0.69. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do leave a like rate and support this series. And if you've got this far, put damn crocs in the comments. I hate those things, they always get me. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.